In this video, we will discuss repeated squaring. Repeated squaring is similar to the process of group exponentiation, but is useful when your exponent n is a power of 2, here represented by n equals 2 to the s for some non-negative integer s. The repeated squaring algorithm accepts as input a group g under a binary operation star, an element little g in the group capital G, and a non-negative integer s, and outputs g to the 2 to the s star. The first step in the repeated squaring algorithm is the if statement if s equals 0, then return g. Since 2 to the 0th power is 1, and g to the first power is g itself, if s equals 0, then we return the element g. Steps 2 and 3, which only execute if step 1 is skipped, are to create the variable i and assign it the value of 1, and create the variable c and assign it the value of g star g. Next, we enter a loop consisting of two steps. The first is to redefine the variable c and assign it the value of c star c, and the second step is to redefine the variable i and assign it the value i plus 1. We continue to perform these two steps until the stopping condition i equal to s is satisfied, at which point we return the current value of c and our algorithm terminates. To illustrate repeated squaring, let's compute 3 to the 8 star in the multiplicative group z mod 7 under the binary operation O times. Our group element little g in this case is 3, and our exponent n is equal to 8. However, we can express 8 as 2 to the third power, so our non-negative integer s for this example is s equals 3. Now we'll enter the repeated squaring algorithm. Our s value is not equal to 0, so we skip step 1 and proceed to steps 2 and 3, where we create the variable i and assign it the value of 1, and create the variable c and assign it the value 3 o times 3, which is equal to 9 mod 7, which is equal to 2.